Here are two examples where I'm told to solve for x. So these are not expressions that I'm simplifying. These are equations now. You see the equal sign in each of them. And I want to solve for x. In other words, I want to find out what number I can put in there for x that will make this equation true. What value for x satisfies this equation. To do this, I need to take each side and divide by 9. And when I do that, the 9's cancel out on the left. And I'm left with x squared equals, on the right I have 36 divided by 9, which is 4. I can solve this by taking the square root of each side. And on the left, the square root of x squared is just x. And on the right, the square root of 4, I need to write a 2 but I need to remember to write plus or minus 2, because a, a positive 2 squared is 4, and a negative 2 squared also is 4. So there are two answers to this problem, plus 2 or minus 2. Over here, I have 8x squared equals 24. So I'll divide each side by 8, and the 8s cancel out on the left leaving me with x squared equals 24 divided by 8, which is 3. And now I solve this by taking the square root of the left side and taking the square root of the right. And on the left, I have x. And on the right, I just have the square root of 3, but I really have plus or minus the square root of 3, and that's my answer. And again, don't forget the plus or minus sign.